What's up guys? Today, we're going to explain how to install and uninstall Neopost on your Formula Fork. To proceed with this operation, you'll need the fork cap wrench to unscrew the fork caps, which you'll find in the aftermarket box of your Formula Fork, along with a shock pump and one or more Neoposts. As always, we recommend the use of a Formula suspension pump equipped with a quick connector to achieve a more precise result. First of all, unscrew the black cap that protects the air valve. Then, connect the pump, engage the quick connector, and let out the air slowly and gradually. When the air is completely released, you can proceed to disconnect the pump from the valve. In the case of a two-air technology fork with a double air chamber, first, you unscrew the bronze cap, which protects the negative chamber valve. Then, connect the pump to the valve, engage the quick connector, and let the air out from the negative chamber slowly and gradually. Once this operation is completed, you can disconnect the pump from the negative chamber valve. Now, locate and unscrew the silver cap on the positive chamber. Connect the pump and engage the quick connector. making sure again to let out all of the air from the positive chamber slowly and gradually. Once this operation is completed, you can disconnect the pump from the positive chamber valve. From here, using the fork cap wrench that you found in the aftermarket box, Unscrew the fork cap, which is located on the head of the air side of the fork. Once removed, you can insert one or more neoposts. The formula forks can accommodate up to three neoposts. At this point, you can reattach the cap on the air side of the fork. Once attached, using a torque wrench, tighten the cap to 30 newton meters. Now you can proceed to restore your desired air pressure. Connect the pump to the valve, engage the quick connector, and re-enter the desired pressure. Once this operation is completed, you can disconnect the pump and reapply the black cap to protect the air valve. In the case of a two-air technology fork with a double air chamber, first, connect the pump to the positive chamber valve. Then, engage the quick connector and re-enter the desired pressure. Once this is done, you can disconnect the pump from the positive chamber valve and screw the silver cap back on to protect the valve.
At this point, close the fork's lockout by rotating the gold lever found on the top of the damping side of the fork. This step serves to keep the fork fully extended throughout the process. Now you can connect the pump to the negative chamber valve, and after engaging the quick connector, proceed to inflate the fork with the desired pressure. Once this operation is completed, you can disconnect the pump from the negative chamber valve and screw back on the bronze cap to protect it. Now you can disengage the lockout by rotating back the gold lever on the damping side. Once done, the fork will make a small movement due to the settling of the two air chambers. Now the Neopost installation procedure is complete. However, we'd like to give you some more suggestions regarding removing the Neopost from the fork. In order to remove the Neopost, first unscrew the black cap that protects the air valve. Then connect the pump, engage the quick connector, and let out the air slowly and gradually. Once this operation is completed, you can disconnect the pump from the air valve. In the case of a two-air technology fork with a double air chamber, first you unscrew the bronze cap that protects the valve of the negative chamber. Then connect the pump to the valve, engage the quick connector, and let out all of the air of the negative chamber, again slowly and gradually. Once empty, disconnect the pump from the negative chamber valve. Now, unscrew the silver cap that protects the positive chamber valve. Connect the pump to the valve and engage the quick connector. As is always the case, let the air out slowly and gradually. When complete, you can disconnect the pump from the positive chamber valve. Now, using the fork cap wrench found in the aftermarket box of the fork, unscrew the fork cap on the air side. Once the cap has been removed, you can gently compress the fork until you reach the level of the neoposts, which at this point you will see inside the fork. Using a 4mm hex wrench, take the neoposts out of the fork by inserting the wrench into the special hole atop the neoposts. In some cases, it may happen that the neoposts is turned inside the fork stanchion. This means that when you empty the chambers, you let the air out too quickly. If the neopost should be turned inside the stanchion, don't worry, because this does not affect the functionality of the neoposts, nor does it damage the fork in any way. Should you find yourself in this situation, simply use the 4mm hex wrench to extract the neopost from the fork stanchion. Once the neopost has been removed, replace and tighten the airside fork cap and apply a torque of 30 newton meters with a torque wrench. To restore the pressure, refer to what was previously explained in this video reminding you that there are two different procedures. The one for the standard forks 
and the one for the two air technology forks with the double air chambers. Now you have learned how to properly install and uninstall the Neopos in your Formula Fork. Hit the trails and test the effectiveness of this small, extraordinary component. To find out more about the features of the Neopos, we invite you to visit our website at rideformula.com.